Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Sam. We're back with another video. And today, guys, we are starting off F122 My Team Career. We are coming in as newcomers, and let's see where we end up at the end of this season. Before we move forward, I request you all to please subscribe to the channel and like this video as it motivates me to edit more and more videos so that more and more videos can come out to you guys. And now, without further ado, enjoy the rest of the video. Welcome to my team. Here you'll experience the world of Formula 1, not only as a driver, but as the owner of a brand new F1 team. First things first, let's create your driver. Great, now let's set up some of the key details of your new team. We'll start okay. With what name would you like to give the team? So this is where i asked you guys to vote on my instagram i kept a pool there and if you guys want to engage in such pools in the future be sure to follow me on instagram my id is let's play simmer yt and i'm just gonna pull up the results i have it on my phone so for the team name you guys from the options you guys recommended Sting Motorsport and for the sponsor you guys from three options high risk high reward low risk low reward and happy middle ground high risk high reward won by around 20% so we're going to look at something which is very risky from all of these options the riskiest thing according to me is earn 15 construction points because we will be starting off at the back we will not have anything i think 15 constructor points is the highest we can go i'm not sure if we'll hit it i guess we'll wait and see as a team achieve two points finishes that will be easy so i think this is the one with which we go okay so from the engine suppliers we have four options from the four options which you you have on your screen right now you guys voted for mercedes benz amg and it won by a lot it won by 60 percent ahead of the red bull power train charlie ferrari and renault e-tech did not get any votes so we go with the merc amg patronus okay for the teammate it, i did not ask you guys about my teammate we have good amount of money we can afford each one of them i think without a doubt oscar priya street great talent not having an fnc currently we will give him one okay so oscar priya street okay so livery select i have one already and i guess not i okay so now we'll create or do we want to keep this livery because this is pretty sick as well with the black sponsors i say we keep that and sponsor decays and personal stickers and for the sticker i guess we'll go with this one team badge we'll keep in this Hello folks and welcome to this, a very special edition of Paddock Pass. We're here at the headquarters of Formula One's newest team for an exclusive first look at what they will be bringing to the sport. It's always an exciting moment to welcome a new team onto the grid. However, what makes this occasion a little more special is how strikingly different the cars are this year. Yep, the long-awaited new regulations are finally here, and with them, the start of the next era of Formula One. The 2022 season ushers in a change of direction to the regulations aimed at promoting closer racing. With new aero additions in the form of swooping front and rear wings, along with the new eye-catching 18-inch low-profile tires that will push tire technology to the limit. So then, the question remains as to whether this team can grasp the opportunity before them with both hands, and lead the charge against the rest of the paddock. 
We'll find out soon enough, as the new season is just about to begin. But first, let's see the unveiling of the team's car and meet the owner of the brand new Formula One team. Well, first of all, thanks so much for inviting us here today. It's been wonderful to see behind the scenes. Uh, as you might expect, I've got about a million questions, so let's jump straight in. It's been a long time since we last saw a team owner take their own car onto the track, and the sport's changed enormously in the intervening years. How are you going to handle the responsibilities of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Let's talk about your teammate. Now, it's clear they're excited to have signed with you, but tell me, what is it that you think they bring to the team? Obviously been putting a lot of work into the car. I know it's early days, but how do you expect it to feel out there? Most of the other teams can boast years of experience in Formula One. Where do you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains you need to put you within reach of the other cars. Ultimately, your success this season is going to come down to whether you can take positions from the other drivers. What is it about your car that's going to give you that edge in those battles? And finally, with so many specialist departments working together here at your headquarters, and with such an important deadline coming up, who's getting that coveted teacher's gold star? Which group do you feel the most proud of right now? Well, thank you so much for your time. Uh, it's been wonderful to get an insight from you and, of course, to see around the headquarters. Thank you for today. Really appreciate it. And thank you all at home for watching as well. We'll see you very soon. Our first ever Grand Prix, the Bahrain Grand Prix, the season opener for the new 2020 season. This is the very first time with the My Team F1 2022 car. Let's see how it is to drive. Okay. The coal tires are not helping. Need to warm up the tires first. The car, there is so much understeer. we have brake system failure which will not allow us to go for an outlap right now but uh, bear with us a few minutes so i'm afraid we're we're losing hydraulic pressure there's a leak somewhere in the system so just sit tight for a bit yeah we're just gonna make that a little bit little changed there let's see if that helps us So what my aim right now above top 20 in the top 20 ahead of our teammate Oscar Friastri that's very important if this setup does not work we are in big big trouble I have changed the setup I was running a different setup in practice which was helping me I've changed it a bit now hoping for some more improvement The car is definitely more responsive now. Let's see for our first ever qualifying run in the 2022 car. Turn one. Turn two, three. 
Activate the DRS. Do the second straight. Use as much of track as you can. Going on to the S section, which is very tricky for us controller players. Sergio Perez out of the session. Sergio Perez facing a failure in the Q1 session and is out of the session. So that's one free position from for us. But I think that is good news for both Ferrari as well as Mercedes who will have only one Red Bull to fight against. Now back to our own lap onto the main straight activating DRS. And we are in P5 ahead of Bottas and Piastri. That is just great, great news for us. Head of Ocon, or head of Bottas and Piastri. Our Q1 last run ruined by my mistake. We are now start. We will now be starting far behind from where we could have start. I think I could have gotten this car into Q1, but now that just won't be possible and that's charles leclerc in p1 in qualifying goes the fastest closely followed by george Lusson in p2 followed by carlos Sainz in p3 and the alfa romeo of Walt of valtteri bottas is in q2 we did we just entered q2 can you guys believe that we entered q2 with granny joe we are in q2 me and Ganyu Joe, followed by the two Aussies, Danny Rick and Oscar Piastri. We are into Q2, even if we butchered our last Q1 run. What a surprise! Sergio Perez says the fastest lap time, and now we come across the line in P3 ahead of the Mercedes of George Russell. That is a big surprise for us. It looks like we will or we can get into Q3 at this rate ahead of Gany Joe as well, of course. Not looking good for us here in the last flyer of Q2, but we are we were up a few. We're up a few thousands for just a second. But no, we are not able to improve on our time. And it is P9 for us. I think we did improve on our time. But just a few. Just very little. A few hundred. And yes, that is just a difference of two hundreds. Between me and Mick Schumacher. That was the time I gained in that last run. Which just makes me clear of that line. And I am safely into Q3 in F1 my team car. That is just out of this world. Will we be able to improve on that our time? And we get a time of 133. Not good. That gets us P9. P9. Ahead of Mick Schumacher, I presume. Complete. No, a hit of Pierre Gasly, who was not able to Leclerc. get a run. Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of Turn 10. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Perez, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Bottas, Fernando Alonso, Mick Schumacher, Singh, and Pierre Gasly, Magnussen, Ocon, Lando Norris, and Russell, Sonoda, Joe, Daniel Ricciardo, and Oscar Piastri, Vettel, Stroll, Latifi, and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. 
With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today, as once again, we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. We're ready for the formation lap right now. He then just told here. Okay, so let's go through all the gears if you can. We need to make sure the engagement is okay before the start. We're gonna to want to put some temperature into the tires and brakes. That is a okay. Perfect park yeah, right one. there. So the edge if you can get good launch as the race starts. Okay, so that's the rest of the grid forming up now. Be patient and watch for those lights. Get a great launch on the first lap and we are up to p6 right against lewis hamilton on the inside of carlos Sainz. max Verstappen has to run wide as me and carlos Sainz come from behind what is happening here we need to know how am i this far ahead dive bomb down the inside of that ferrari oh my god are we going to end up on the podium on our first ever race? Which I don't think is going to happen. We run wide. Getting pushed by Charles Leclerc. No, we spin, we spin, we spin. We lose a lot of time. There is a long chain of car beh cars behind us. Carlos Sainz on the inside will try to defend and yes we do we but we run wide but we run wide and this Carlos Sainz again on the inside that's not the best first lap for us using a lot of URS down here We have deployed all of our years for this lap and science goes on overtakes us we are being attacked by lewis hamilton as well and max Verstappen, who is stuck behind us we are a sitting duck right now but can we make the move down the inside a huge dive bomb from us overtake carlos science and lewis hamilton sacrifice our own racing line but again with the huge huge dive bomb lewis hamilton comes on the inside but I think we will be able to defend ourselves. Yes, we do go a bit deep. Still able to defend ourselves from Lewis Hamilton. Max Verstappen will try to defend. And yes, we do run a bit right there. Max Verstappen just breezes past us. We cannot do anything we look in the inside and we did outbreak Max Verstappen our huge dive bombs are successful but he is catching up to us we have no ERS left and Magnuson just breezes past us. Next, next up is Alonso behind us. But we won't give up that easily. We fight back to Magnuson. And down the inside we go. Overtaking him on turn 1. With DRS. We have created a good gap between me, myself and 
Magnuson. Cannot go that fast over this turn because of my damaged wing. I have to carry on like this until time for my pit stop comes, which is allowed the 12th lap. Not very ideal for us, and we spin. We are sent spinning, and that is a huge pile up onto this turn. Yuki Sonoda just comes in ramps into me. We will have to pit this lap, coming in for the softs and then for the hard. We will not be able to carry on like this. We do not have any front wing. That was a huge pile up. I spin and then everybody comes from behind, comes attacking at me. And it was really, the situation really escalated when Yuki Sonoda just comes and rams into me. Our underbody is damaged as well and it's lights out it's green flag and we had to slow down because we could not have overtaken Russell back there but now Russell tries to overtake and we have to take avoiding action there just dodging Russell back with Sonoda Sonoda on the inside will go on the outside the AI not backing up from the challenge but now with Lance Stroll we will look to overtake him down the inside of this turn but remember this is not where we want to take risks because this is the turn which can ruin my race the way it did previously and Yuki Sonoda comes down the inside we're clearly lacking the pace everybody on fresh softs everybody's strategy is changed now everybody is using the two soft strategy from mediums to softs to hearts we'll try to overtake stroll on this turn but we won't be just catching up to stroll can we though can we can we can we we are committing to it and yes we do overtake stroll really behind albon but back to p10 now the sergio perez just breezes past us hitting duck we could not do anything now i'm being attacked by lance stroll and i had to overtake sergio perez there was a three wide moment there sergio perez was just looking like what are you guys doing and just Lance Stroll just comes down we just don't think about anything I am already attacking Sergio Perez and he comes and attacks both of us thinking about getting a double overtake done there but ends up breaking his own front wing we are losing a lot of time I'm coming in this lap and we need to turn in right now that's good time i'm not able to get a purple in pit stops there was a little pit stop error if we just go for the instant replay there probably the left rear now we come out behind Perez just go straight on these hards the real cold hards Vettel overtakes us as well these hards are too cold for the moment at the moment not able to get the grip that we want
this is just gone downhill for us and we had overtaken by Oscar Priestry our teammate so the qualifying was just a fluke we have good qualifying pace but not good race pace as it turns out getting attacked by Ganjo as well block him off there's the yellow flag incident on the main straight I think it's, there's something wrong with the Mercedes yes George Russell George Russell is out serious car issue something might be wrong with their engine a Mercedes engine we also have Mercedes engine that is troubling signs for us Schumacher will be in a DRS range as we come on to the last lap Schumacher is within 500s 300s of a second he looks on the inside we go defensive But in the end, we come over him for now. And Carlos Sainz wins in the Ferrari. Are the fireworks for me? It's a scrap and a half with Schumacher. He will also have the DRS through here. I only have my ERS going on the inside whilst Schumacher is going on the outside. I break late. At any cost, I do not want to finish any lower than P13. Started P9 because of that incident on the 7th lap. My race was ruined right there and then. Schumacher. He just wants to go on the inside, does not even want to have a look at on the outside. We will try to keep him behind us, but will we be able to do it? We have DRS and he does not, and we cross the line barely in front of him in P13. That is the end of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Driver of the day, Oscar Piastri, great drive from Oscar Piastri. That's it then for another spectacular Grand Prix here in Bahrain and a real champion's drive to take the win. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, staying out of trouble is probably the most important factor here. In the race where half the field weren't classified at the checkered flag, you were able to guarantee a good result by basically keeping the car running. With their pace and a decent strategy as well, I don't think the race was ever really in doubt. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. So that's Carlos Sainz with the win followed by Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen followed by surprisingly Lewis Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas, Sergio Perez and we ended up in P13 starting from P9 and our teammate Oscar Priastri started from P18 finished at P11 that's very bad news for us we did lose out a lot of time a lot of positions because of that spin thank you so much for watching this guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and episode 2 of the series will be coming out day after tomorrow so be sure to subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on so that you get notified when that video goes live and be sure to like this video to show your support it's been let's play simmer see you on the next one goodbye